so in this lecture we discuss about a uh, uh, multi neuron uh, calculations so now we put a uh, more than one neuron and as well as more than uh, one input or output so how to calculate uh, these types of neuron uh, and <coughs> so here i show uh, two examples first of example is like this is um, suppose this is our input this is input number 1 and this is the input number 2 and here is our output and this is a values of input like uh, x1 or something so it's a 0.5 x1 is equal to 0.5 and here x2 is equal to uh, 0.2 this is called as a inputs this section is called a inputs fine so when we apply a input so we have a input as well as its weights so weight of first input is a otherwise w1 is given as a 0.3 and similarly weight of two second is a w2 is equal to 0.2 so how to uh, solve this uh, neural network with uh, uh, two inputs and one as a uh, output so similarly apply a linear operation in this case we only focus on linear not a linear uh, non linear function so uh, operation is very simple so we just multiply and sum the results so it's the 0.5 multiply with weights it is called a 0.3 so this is a first branch and plus this is a 0.2 multiply with and other 0.2 so you got a result around 0.19 similarly in other case uh, if you have a two inputs as well as two outputs in such scenario we solve the network like this way suppose this is a input 1 and this is a input 2 <coughs> and here is a first output and the second output so here is a x1 is to 0.5 and similarly x2 is equal to 0.3 and here is a weight of uh, this input is a otherwise w1 from w1 to w1 so first W one to one output is equal to zero point three suppose, and this weight we write it in like like this W two this two and other two of this two, so it is a given as a zero point something. Otherwise, we put a zero point. to and if we apply here and this is a w2 2 w2 2 and this is uh, around 0.1 suppose similarly we apply from here to here 
and this word is called a W one comma two is equal to zero point five. So if you multiply and sum up, then you got a result of y one or output one. And similarly, you solve multiply here. You solve y two. Maybe it's around zero point three, and this is around zero point one one. So how you can solve this matrix? Are this the neural networks? So we use the help of a matrices. So with the help of matrices. So we draw a matrix. So this is called a W11, and this is called a W12, and other is called a W21, and second one is called a W22. So this is our matrix, like this. I. Matrix combined in a one box, and other matrix in an other box like uh, uh, this box. That is called a uh, column matrix. That is called a uh, inputs. So that inputs is a uh, x one and x two, and similarly resultant is uh, in other box. It is called a uh, y one. And other is called a y two. So now you put these values and multiply with the inputs to get a resultant output. Suppose this is our value I put. That is around w one one. So it is a zero point. Suppose three. And w one two is a zero point five. And W two one is a zero point one, and W two two is a zero point two. It's a zero point two. So it's a zero point two. Similarly, X one is a zero point five. So here is a zero point three. So multiply these, you got a zero point three here. And zero point one here. So this is a basic concept uh, that how to solve the uh, single neuron or multiple neurons or two neurons. Uh, but uh, in this case, we use only linear wise uh, functions, linear activation func uh, functions, but not is a non-linear sigmoid or L. So in next video, we solve in other techniques of our neural networks. Okay, thanks.